it's another video something in the car uh it's sunday and i am very worried what i'll do with my hair because i removed it like i removed my braids and tomorrow is monday i wanted to go to the salon but then my beautiful trusted hairstylist is not working today so i'll only like um what's this get to see her over the week like thursday because then friday is my sister's graduation ah in fact we are going to make this a week vlog i just had an idea i actually thought i'll have like a, 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 a vlog dedicated for my sister's graduation but i guess it's gonna be a week vlog which includes my sister's graduation i'm so happy i just came from um nails by tamba like um i was doing i was doing my nails i'll just show you guys now like okay i didn't tell you i don't know i, I don't know if i told you guys i actually do my own nails and a new insecurity just started yesterday where i i think my my like okay i'll let me just stop when i'll tell you when i stop okay no as i was saying i came from doing my nails um so i actually do my own nails and then yesterday i just thought that my I, my my nail like my my fingers are darker than the rest of my body but then when i'm like apparently it seems like everyone is afraid like that but i don't know it's just me but when i came today I came, like when i went to go do my nails i had sunscreen on and also i just when i was googling i apparently like you can have like these other gloves that can like protect you like i don't know if it's just in my brain but i'm i'm just going to be putting on sunscreen and also i think i'm just going to order those gloves i'll try and find them um just to protect my my fingers like you know now i'm just starting to be very insecure about my my fingers um but yeah i don't know this time around i just decided to do my nails like someone to do my nails because i normally do my own nails and i do like on my own nails like i do not put on tips so i just wanted something for a change i don't like long nails so let's see how this goes um what's this now i came to venue i just want to go to food lovers i don't know hopefully i'll find the smoothie or something i don't know where i can find the smoothie right now and i want guava juice if you know me i am obsessed with the red fontaine guava juice and i want toilet paper what else do i need i think that's it yeah so let's see how the go the week goes by <laughs> was the quickest shopping ever first of all there were no trolleys um I don't know they are just no trolleys so it's not even like the store is full or anything like that they are just no trolleys and also i appreciate like middle of the month shopping because the store is not for example the venue gets super super busy and i'm very strategic where i park because i don't like parking any other parking like i like parking the food lovers parking because then this side is not very full and like i just go into food lovers and i'm out so let me I uh, gave you a mini haul. So, let me tell you, I was that person who was like, toilet paper is just toilet paper. Use any kind of toilet paper. I don't know how I got into getting this kind of toilet paper. For me, this is fancy toilet paper. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just, and it's so weird how I got into this this toilet paper because toilet paper is toilet paper so you just do the thing and <laughs> and then of course my juice this is like 48 bucks guys the toilet paper was 90 bucks by the way this juice is going to make me grow they didn't have cut bread because it's too hot for the machine so i just like just give me bread like i really don't have time to come back to the shops or anything like i think this was 15 bucks or 40 i don't know um and then i had the bananas they don't have fresh bananas so i only got these three and they are so small i love bananas and 
a mango i think it was 16 i think um i love mangoes and then i got dates like i just like having like having them they can even last for a month and i just munch on one or even two months and that's basically it and how much was that Can you even see? That was 199 47 cents including the bag. That's $3.99. Pretty much. That's it. 200 guys. You know oh, you know someone said you just need to eat when you are about to faint. And I really understand it because Oh, again, it's evening and I was just like, well, it's still evening of the, the Sunday when I said the vlog. And this is how my hair looks right now. It's clean, well moisturized, it's well deep treated with hair mayo and whatnot. So I was actually cooking hair fish in the oven right now. So I was like, let me see if I can play around with the hair so that like I have something to work with in the morning, I think. Yeah. leftover from like when i'm doing knotless braids they like use the gel so i normally like take my own gel so i was going to like touch up a little bit and put on a scarf and i hope this is not going to be a problem tomorrow morning <laughs> I meet, I'm at it again making a dashboard video you know like these videos don't even like are not the most presentable videos even but I just don't want to like drive while I'm holding the phone and I don't like have anywhere else to to hold so Tuesday I think was the last time I really spoke to you guys uh, that's when I I think that's when I went to go order flowers for my sister and then Wednesday, which is yesterday, I went from home. Uh, so I was looking a mess, like you know, working from home. <laughs> if you know, you know. And then today, I did go to the office. Um, I left the office at exactly two because by one, I was in the salon and I was getting like I did all my Canada, uh, my Canada. So. I don't even know. I, I don't have a 
plan for my hair tomorrow morning I really have no idea but the Lord is my shepherd you know <laughs> uh, what what else so I'm just going to pick up fl the flowers right now and then I'll go to my sister I will do final prep I haven't been like giving her attention this way because obviously I'm also busy with work but I've been in contact with her and then tomorrow morning <laughs> it's graduation I'm so happy I'm so excited you know like I hope this video really gives proud sister because you know let me tell you something let me tell you something you know uh, so what had happened was <laughs> why am I speaking like that so what happened was um, when I moved to Windukne like 2021 or Vintuk or whatever I I went to stay with my aunt right that you know obviously because i've been saying that and that was mainly because i knew finances wise it, it's not practical for me to move out like to move into my own place well initially i thought i was just going to stay with my aunt like for a couple of months and then that turned into three three years <laughs> yeah but then uh, you know you realize that it does not make financial sense you know you are a trainee and it, whatever but then on the other hand my sister there's actually four years between the two of us so when i was like in metric uh, she was grade eight so we have been like basically the same school like from kindergarten to primary school to high school you know so when i was in grade 12 she moved now to my high school for grade for grade eight and then obviously i left her and then i went to uni and then when she was grade 12, I was also doing my CTA and then I guess she thought that we were moving because then that's the time when I was now start coming to start my articles here in Namibia and then she was also coming to do her university also here in Vintuk, Namibia, right? So I, in my head I'm like, okay, maybe I could do that, I mean I could do that sacrifice obviously okay there was that portion that i i can't move because of finances but then i also noted i sat down myself and i'm like i actually cannot live with my sister <laughs> and i have reasons why i'm saying that i the reason i'm saying that is because you know being the deputy parent i just thought that it was not good for me neither it was going to be good for her um driving and I'm speaking my goodness let me just wait okay, traffic lights so I can quickly speak so it was not good for me neither it was good going to be good for her first because I worry so much about her like I care so much that I felt like it was not good for me one minute girl on her side I feel like she needs to also live her life and like I I if I'm living with her I'll be like where are you <laughs> she's more outgoing than i am um so i didn't want to be like on her neck every single minute like where are you not because i don't want her to enjoy her life but also because i'm just genuinely very worried about her and then also because she's obviously more outgoing and whatnot that i don't want to hold her back and like enjoy her life her uni life her you know and just grow up the way she wants to grow up obviously giving her guidance here and there but like i didn't want that at all for myself and for her so that was really like a decision that i told myself that nah man i i, I can't live with my sister so yeah so i see her any other weekend we talk any other day we chat any other day obviously we stay in the same city but it has been good i feel like this worked out for the both of us and i'm so happy i'm so excited i'm so proud of her like your big sister moment you know like i'm so happy i'm so so happy <laughs> just this i just came to collect the flowers i don't know 
You'll probably see them nicely tomorrow when I take a picture of my sister. Cute. It's giving that <laughs> here. I did not think I'll be here this hour, honestly, because the lady is supposed to do it here and makeup tomorrow morning so hey is supposed to be like around this time apparently she's not feeling well so my sister tried to reach out yesterday but then there was no reply and then today she tried to get, get hold of her as well and apparently she can't speak because I'm, I'm texting we are messaging now and she's she's writing a test an online test and she's not feeling where she wants to go she's going to the hospital now and with regard to makeup she says she can do it tomorrow <laughs> she'll do it tomorrow because she will go to the hospital today and then it's tomorrow yes 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 she'll do it she just can't do the hair we're in town now. My stuff managed to get someone in this salon here, so I hope she gets something that she looks really nice. <laughs> okay, so I've you know it's getting dark. <laughs> it's almost seven thirty. My sister is luckily doing her hair now, but I got them. I I managed to get someone. I contacted a makeup artist, and then because now she's doing her hair, right? I said. A makeup artist and then the one that i contacted she said she doesn't have capacity and then she even gave me three extra numbers who i can contact this other makeup artist um enhanced beauty she gave me three extra contact details and the first person that i tried she actually has capacity uh and she said we can go at 4 a.m um and now she was also just trying to like see if i can like pick up a light because then obviously it's short notice and it was like she doesn't have it like to do the makeup so luckily the boss said she the boss will drop off that light for tomorrow already at the house now and she called just like happy that i was willing to like help to take the light obviously because she didn't have anything and wasn't prepared to i guess do the makeup obviously which is understandable so now currently we're just waiting for the deposit from because we had my sister had paid deposit for the makeup and now the hair and obviously that don't happen anymore because yeah <laughs> um so yeah i i hope this is the end of tonight honestly because wow and i'm i've just been in the car because my sister is in the salon and i'm i'm just trying to assist as much as possible because i know she's obviously stressed and She's been planning this and looking forward to this. Now it's all to, oh, like I could tell she's so stressed. Yo, ah, uh, guys. So yeah, see you tomorrow. I'm just going to pick up ice so that tomorrow the only things are to be picked up tomorrow. Only three things, no, only two things: a salad and cake. Because we basically just make someone make the salad and what? Well, she made, not me. <laughs> And then to do her photo shoot immediately after the graduation. So tomorrow, guys. <laughs> <sighs> 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 <sighs>
<laughs> Actually, I don't know, bruh. I really don't know how to feel. Like, I thought the world was ending, man, when the things were not going my way. And then I got some spirit in that day. But yeah, I don't so know. So, you thought now makeup and hair will start the graduation? It don't die, but mm -hmm. then it will. In fact, I'm going to take a chill. My dear, I'm going to take a chill. 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 I'm I won't give you the tickets. Hmm? I won't give you the tickets. Why? I will even take back those things. Yeah. Why? I will even pay though. Mommy. Do you need to put it on now? Eh, yeah, to Oh, yeah, yeah, that's okay. it. With a cocaine, I no more daily, so you are just the thing is that I'm a little bit of a little bit of a little Shamiko, the head must just be on going to shine. Ka, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's what I'm saying. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Do you feel comfortable? Uh -huh. Are you sure? I know. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here. I'm going Do you know where I made much para if it's like that? My touching it? Wow, Chaka. Kaka 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 But I can't tell here. Eh? Kachona? Kachuchu. Okay, 
Hi, how do you feel? I feel so good. Oh, hey. Hi, baby. Oh, hello, 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 For being there for me, for loving me, for coming here. Um, I want to thank my friends. My friends. Oh. <laughs> they, they put a <laughs> 